Listen here, sweetheart. We're not messing around this time, and we will put your fat ass in prison. I like for conspiracy. you. So think long and hard. You, I like you. Are you married? President Trump's constitutional rights are. In Welcome back to Days of World Podcast. Got my mom back on. We're going to get into Trump's election. So let's get into what he has to say about the uh, how our country's going to move forward. You excited about this, Mom? Very, very excited. You look excited. I'm very You look excited. like you're about to jump on a roller coaster. You're so excited. Yeah, well, that's my personality. Yeah, so. well, it wasn't your personality yesterday. Well. Let's get into this. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or healthcare provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense <laughs> of vulnerable patients, in this case, very vulnerable. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination. Ooh, Mom, what do you think? Look, love, Trump is I, laying down the law, I man. I love that man. I tell you, he's going to straighten things out. Wow. He's really he's going gonna... after it. This has nothing to what we're going to do today. So The View decided that they were going to block and remove my video that I did in a reaction to Trump's being reelected. So now I'm going to spend the rest of the week posting YouTube shorts and TikToks, shitting all all over everybody in the cast of The View. So be sure to jump on my TikTok at Dave's World all week long. Yeah, every one of them. Go down the line on every one of them. Because yeah, <laughs> right. that, that, is, that, is, that is not fair. Here's my plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy from Washington corruption once and for all. And corruption it is. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus and there are plenty of them. The departments and agencies that have been weaponized will be completely overhauled so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives Christians or the left's political enemies, which they're doing now at a level that nobody can believe even possible. Third, we will totally reform FISA courts, which are so corrupt that the judges seemingly do not care when they are lied to in warrant applications. So many judges have seen so many applications that they know were wrong, or at least they must have known. They do nothing about it. They're lied to. Fourth, to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart. We will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission 
to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert our government and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. Sixth, we will make every inspector general's office independent and physically separated from the departments they oversee so they do not become the protectors of the deep state. So, Mom, I mean, he's got a plan. He hasn't yes, been elected for like, oh, uh, three days. Yes, he does. And he's submitting what his plan is going to be. She couldn't, Kamala couldn't do because anything she, during the entire, she, and would you say they had a billion dollars and now they're 20 million in deficit? 20, yes, 20 million. I uh, bet that's uh, all in Cardi B and Beyonce's pocket. And uh, where did that money go? Where did, I don't these, know. These, Dem these Democrats are... They're they're liars. They're cheaters. They're 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 disgusting. Okay, um, mom, we don't have to start name slinging. You don't have to do what they do. Back seventh, I will ask Congress to establish an independent auditing system to continually monitor our intelligence agencies to ensure they are not spying on our citizens or running disinformation campaigns against the American people, or that they are not spying on someone's campaign like they spied on my campaign. Eighth, we will continue the effort launched by the Trump administration to move parts of the sprawling federal bureaucracy to new locations outside the Washington swamp. Just as I moved the Bureau of Land Management to Colorado, as many as 100,000 government positions could be moved out, and I mean immediately, of Washington, to places filled with patriots who love America, and they really do love America. Ninth, I will work to ban federal bureaucrats from taking jobs at the companies they deal with and that they regulate. So they deal with these companies and they regulate these companies and then they want to take jobs from these companies. Doesn't work that way. Such a public display cannot go on and it's taking place all the time like with Big Pharma. Finally, I will push a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on members of Congress. This is how I will shatter the deep state and restore government that is controlled by the people and for the people. Thank you very much. Oh, he's, he's really laying down some facts right there. All right, Mom, I'm not familiar with this guy, but I want to get into this because I've, I've seen some other people react to this, and I don't know her. You watch the news a lot, I so you probably know I who she is. I don't like her. She okay, is, so you know who this person is. She, yeah. All I, right, let's, let's get into the Tita, video and, and uh, uh, the Tita James. Is that yeah, right? Tita. Okay. Uh, let's go. Fanny Willis. That seems to be <laughs> one of the one of the last prosecutions against Donald Trump that hasn't been completely thrown in the garbage just yet. Maybe a message to Fannie Willis. Yeah, big Fannie, another one. Where, where do they find these people? It's just like <laughs> it, at Weight Watchers. Where do they where do they find these these slobs to be prosecutors against Trump? I would say to to big Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade, uh, it's very clear that the Georgia Court of Appeals is going to disqualify their entire office because. Big Fanny hired her dumb, unqualified boyfriend, Nathan Wade, paid him $700,000, $250 an hour. And then Big Fanny took illegal kickbacks from Nathan Wade in the form of lavish trips around the world. Napa, the Caribbean, Belize. I'm a gray goose girl. I mean, where do they find these stuff? <laughs> right? Prosecutors then against he got Trump. up Go and lied about it. Into the, big right? and so she's Wade. going to get disqualified from this case. This case will go to another uh, district attorney in Georgia, and no one in their right mind would bring this case again because it's not a crime to object to a presidential election. It's allowed by the Electoral Count Act of 1887. It's allowed by the First Amendment. Again, I want to say to these Democrat prosecutors and these Democrat hellholes, we're not messing around this time, right? So uh, proceed accordingly. Yeah, I don't know how they keep their law licenses after this. I just don't. I, I don't know how they stay within the bar. Um, after what they've done. And, and when the people know the truth, when people actually understand the truth, and now that we control the media ecosystem, now that more people have like tuned out and that's it's broken and it's dead and it's, it's gone, right? This election proved it once and for all. 
Now we can tell the truth. We can tell the true story. Cash Patel was on here talking about this just a second ago. Like now is time for truth and reconciliation for the American people to actually understand how their government operates. I don't know who she is, but she looks more worried than Amber Heard when she was on the stand. You remember that? Yeah, she's she's uh, she's another liar. I mean, they fester in lies and hate. And yeah. and her and this one here, I can't stand even. Who more. who is she? This one is Latiba or the, whatever. I mean, what does she do? She it, she was she got elected just to destroy Trump. Elected that to was what? Her, whatever she's elected to, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, right. uh, Senate or the, you know, somewhere in New York. Uh, okay. Uh, let me uh, let me just say this to big people. That's the only reason. Mom, come on. <laughs> uh, let me just say this to Big Tish James, the New York Attorney General. I, I dare you. I dare you to try to continue your lawfare against President Trump in his second term. Because listen here, sweetheart, we're not messing around this time. And we will put your fat ass in prison I for like conspiracy. You. So think long and hard. You, I like you. you. Are you married? President Trump's constitutional rights or any other Americans' rights or any other Americans' constitutional rights. We, uh, it's not going to happen again. We've been warning people on the show, Mike. This isn't the same Trump administration. Stop messing around. Don't rig elections. Don't illegally vote. Don't try the funny business because we know the team this time and they are not effing around. All right. Well, yeah, the, obviously you, you uh, want to marry uh, that man. Attorney, attorney general. Yeah. She, she elect, she had got elected just to destroy Trump. That was the main reason she wanted to be elected. Okay. Can you imagine? Just for that reason. No other Mom, reason. Mom, after everything that's happened, yes, I can imagine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shivering? It's not cold in here. I can't. I'm so glad all this is over with, and uh, we don't have to talk about it after a while. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure something for... else will come up on CNN or oh, one of the Lord. other Fox stations, or or yeah. What about these people that whatever. like the sports and all that stuff? They're going to be left behind. You going to put sports video on anymore? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a reaction video to stupid people messing with very dangerous animals. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> people are so dumb. Yeah. Well, mom, you got anything else to say? I know you're happy Trump won. I'm like I said, aesthetic. I'm I'm uh, politically agnostic, so I don't really, you know, whatever happens happens. So I know but things good are think good things are going to happen these uh, next four years. This sounds like he's going to be jumping he's, on some people's asses because I don't disagree. He's already with, starting to work. He's already working yeah. right now. I mean, I don't disagree when you're talking about children and in your giving yeah, them surgeries yeah. and stuff like that. Your your frontal lobe doesn't develop until you're 25 years old. So to make a life-changing well, decision as a child is ridiculous. And for doctors to be for doctors to be encouraging those kind of surgeries mm -hmm. for self-identity at Not 5, 6, the, 7, 10, 12 years old is, is ridiculous. Not and the parents them. supporting it. You know, nowhere else in the world can this happen except the United States. I know, but it's going to he's going to make it great. He's going to make it great. Uh, he'll, he'll make it all right. I don't know. <laughs> all it, right. uh, he's going to do good. Okay. Well, Mom. He's going to do good. You, uh, thank you for joining here yeah. on the podcast. The New Dave's World Podcast, which is the name that you picked out. Yeah, I like that name. It sort of brings a little bell to it. You know, it gives it a little oomph. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll catch you on the next podcast when I get in and start ripping on the people on The View because they wouldn't allow me to post my video that other people were able to post. So get ready for some shorts and some TikToks. Whoopi and Sunny and whoever else is on The View. Yeah, it's coming. All right, catch you on the next. They don't put you in jail. Damn, David. A freedom of speech. What are you talking I about? I don't care. They were, too, we're going with the, the Democrats. I'm just going to rip the people oh, on The Lord. View. Oh, you gonna have me? Soon. They're not important people. They're like actors and comedians, and some of them are highly educated attorneys. But they they're sound they don't. But they they don't they don't sound like they're educated attorneys. So Never educated. watched that show in all the years. Never well, watched. I haven't either, and I just wanted to do a reaction on on what their view was on uh, President Trump winning the election. And the minute I did it, they were just like, "Nope." 
your bank you're gonna be banned you're gonna be blocked you're gonna be because they didn't want to hear what i had to say what they heard of the others well had to say. you know the problem with that is is you know they're elites and and they they say they're for the the middle class but the middle of the working class stands up and says something against the elites they shut you up and that's exactly what the view did they shut me up not that so, i'm not even a big podcast that's so, probably why they did it because okay. i'm just a little podcast okay. they can so, pick how, on. so how are you going to get them individually they're going to uh, shut because you I'm, up no then. because i'm because i'm going to just do TikTok videos and i'm just gonna i'm gonna have little pictures of each one of them and i'm gonna i'm gonna rip a new ass for every one of them do you and hear they that? can't do You're anything about that tic tac <laughs> You, you, you little sneeze. You're gonna be on there. It's called TikTok. That too. <laughs> Don't be using that F word a lot. You use the F word I way know, more than I, I do. Way yeah, more. Yeah, because you taught me it. That's why. Okay, whatever.